in five years there's been one una there is one uh, rehut rohit vemula who committed suicide and that cannot be held as a reflection of how india is treating its dalits the political class will allege that this is being done by vested interests for fulfilling their own needs catering to the dalit vote bank as an example to feed the factor of marginalization as opposed to looking at how dalits are more integrated and are better educated and relatively speaking better off than they were yes there is a problem but you have to see where india and the community is coming from india carries this shameful guilt and they should be ashamed of them that they send one dalit every day to clean your own shit we can't stare at our own shit for 2 seconds raise your hand anybody here who can stare at your own shit for more than 5 seconds but we have treated our own indians to get into the sewer so they can clean your shit and so we can live in a very sanitized india one dalit dies in sewer every 5 days is that what we are talking about when we talk about atrocities these atrocities are mentioned and he the gentleman next to me is saying it's been sometimes over presented if you talk about the social or educational aspects narendra modi government has not released 10200 crores scholarships meant for scheduled caste students 2300 crores scholarship meant for scheduled tribes students and in addition to that the reservation that we all parade about there is no filling of vacancies the central university teachers association recently it's in the news 50% of the seats are not even fulfilled and when we talk about this the whole notion of meritocracy is been plundered upon them in addition to this when we look at the teachers less than 1% 0.83 muslim teacher female muslim teacher are teaching in our universities or our colleges dalit stu dalit dalit faculties are close to 5 percentage adivasi too and when we say this disproportionate the people who identify themselves as upper caste hindu and this is a record of all india higher higher uh, higher education survey of 2016 70% age of our faculty 70 is upper caste hindu now if this is a representative of india then we are definitely talking about a casteist india which doesn't educate its student and even in the political as well as media discourses we don't talk about this palam raju this is a very compelling argument i want you to build on that reservation per se and you've been education minister means nothing unless you work the back channels to ensure that there are people who are capable of benefiting from that reservation at the iits for example so many of the seats reserved for scheduled castes go a begging because there is there are very few students who can apply there are very few who can get through and there are even fewer who can stay compete and last out the whole term i mean let me start from the original question and uh, the social issue that we are trying to address the dalits have been a community that have been historically oppressed across centuries and i think uh, once the republic was formed we did try to rectify the wrongs through various means and i think it's been the attempt of successive governments the reality in india today is we live in several layers and i think there are parts of the country where those historical biases are still there manual scavenging still happens dalits are still uh, victimized but i think if you the original point of the question is are dalits a better lot today i would say yes because they are much more informed they are much more organized they are much more cohesive they are much more assertive in uh, in uh, you know establishing their rights especially the enlightened lot 